Now that we pretty much know all of the key components of a go-kart, we can see that there is one major difference between a go-kart and a full-sized race car. And that is the solid rear axle. When you have a solid rear axle, both rear wheels are rotating at the same speed at all times. This is fine when you're traveling in a straight line, but once you start cornering, the outside wheel has to cover a greater distance than the inside wheel, which means one of the two will be sliding on the surface of the track. They solve this issue in cars by inventing a differential, but go-karts don't have one of these. To address this, go-karts are designed to lift the inside rear wheel during turns, allowing it to rotate freely in the air. This lifting mechanism is facilitated by the chassis design, the second significant difference from race cars. Go-karts lack a traditional suspension, instead the chassis serves this purpose. Its flexibility, all of the components that you can change and put on, directly influences the handling. However, this constant flexing shortens the chassis lifespan. Most go-karts are built to last only two race weekends, and while you can extend their life, one with 20 hours of track time won't handle like a brand new chassis. 